Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the 4AM Group Podcast. I'm joined here by Cole, uh, Joe Rowe, and a brand new guest, uh, Derek. Uh, what's going on, guys? How's it going? How's yeah, it going, this, man? <laughs> this is going to be kind of weird, but go with it. Uh, as you yeah, guys can see, double we're just going to roll. Yeah, as double you guys can see, today. we got a double feature because Dom didn't show up. Didn't tell Hopefully us he he's not here. dead. That's that. We're just hoping he's not dead at Don't this know point. What happened he hasn't to him. answered us. So. Cool, so, no. Fucked up would it be if he was? I mean, pretty uh, dude. I, I'm predicting the future, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a psychic. But yeah, we have uh, Derek. Derek decided he wanted to have Joe Rowe on, so Joe Rowe was coming on for his second podcast. Came on as the first guest. Oh, man. Slowly he's, got he's overtaken. He's coming to dethrone Ben. He's coming to take his throne back. Oh boy. Yeah, how do you feel that Ben oh, Wogan, boy. conspiracy man? Fucking took over your podcast. You just you destroyed hey, it. Hey man, conspiracy man. I'm we're just I'm just here to be help you guys out. I guess <laughs> just <laughs> business. It's just business. <laughs> all right. Um. So we got a few things to talk about. First of all, the coronavirus. It uh got extended till mid June for at least Illinois. How you guys feel about that? Yay! Can't do anything until at least mid June. I am fucking happy. Well, what me and my parents did, we just, uh, like, to kind of celebrate our, my graduation, um, we went over to Indiana and went to uh, Michigan City. We stopped at the mall and got uh, got Hooters. It was nice to get out. Um, good time, good time. But, like, it's the thing is, like, here in Illinois, they don't want to reopen for whatever reason, but, like, Indiana, they got it under control. Like, at Hooters, there was a, a table in between everyone. Which, I mean, it's kind of a waste of space. So, wait, Indiana but... opened up the restaurants? Like, so you could eat in? Yeah, they're open. Like, yeah. they're open, open. Everything Dude, you is... guys want to know why Illinois is not doing it. And the, the literal reason why is because J.B. Pritzker is a fucking Democrat and uh, Donald Trump is a Republican. That's literally the only reason why. You know what really pisses wait. me off about that is... Well. They, um... Like, like J.B. Pritzker is <laughs> trying to argue with fucking Trump. Like, grow up. Both of them, like... He's not gonna you're, win against you're Trump. Grown men. He's not gonna win against Trump. And but like they're just... arguing, like JB's blaming Trump for this entire thing because he didn't shut down the country in time. But like, but JB's when are you supposed for, to shut down? JB's the country? responsible for Illinois, and it has Chicago in it. Chicago is fucking terrible right now. Yeah. So what about the flooding, eh? <laughs> Dude, I fucking I was on my way to work. First puddle, I, I was like. All right, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we, had to, to, uh... so, we had to sub pump our basement. It wasn't a good time. Yeah, oh, my truck actually uh, broke down that night. <laughs> Joe got literally, me. Literally, he uh... walked home. He said he walked home. Did I'm you like, like no, go no, through a fucking puddle and fucking? No, it was in my girlfriend's, and uh, I went to go go home. And I tried starting on my truck, and when it even cranked, <laughs> some in there in the rain, it's just pouring down. Joe, you know it what was that was? That was down. God trying to help you get laid. <laughs> That's what that was. It was like well, you didn't go home, did you? The man doesn't one, need two in the morning. I got it. <laughs> um, her parents let me take one of their cars home. Damn. And That's. I got it to um, their my road. And there's a fire truck in front of it. And they're blocking the road. And I'm like, hey, is it okay to, like, I live on this road. Is it okay? (laughs) And they're just like this. Yeah, it should be fine. (laughs) So they pull up a little bit so I can go. And it's, like, sketchy. It's like a river. Really, really bad. How is, uh, how's the creek out there? Is that flooded over yet? It rose about like four or five foot. Really? Yeah, it's almost over the road. Jeez. And it's not planning on stopping rain. We still got like no. three days of rain. Do we do? Yeah. Yeah. But um Did it rain today? Yeah. Like kind of. I it was like I misting. More more than misting. Um but that same night, me and my brothers went at like dude, I don't even know, like midnight one. After we got done working out to McDonald's, and we had to go around on 17. So, houses right here. Here's Second Street. Up here is Bradley. 
And then 17s all the way out here. Here's Kankakee. So we had to go here. We got stopped because of all the water. So we go all the way back through town and around. I was just doing that for the viewers. I know you guys know where it's at, but if I just say random roads, they don't they don't really understand. <laughs> hey, they got Google. Did you see um, by the softball field how deep it got? Dude. Dude, I went for a run after I got off work, and I was up to my knees. Really? In that one spot, it was up to my That's knees. That's how the the tennis court was, too. The tennis court was far. Yeah, tennis court said, was bad. Colton said that the high school got Oh, destroyed. yeah, dude. The highest point in the high school was uh, 10 feet. It was on the second floor or just, like, filled It was, like, you know the floor. room downstairs that has all the uh, generators and boiler the boilers in them? Yeah, the boiler cool. room downstairs? Yeah. I couldn't think That's of That's right boiler. off the ramp. <laughs> All the know. boilers were underwater. <laughs> Every single boiler was underwater. So was the heating messed up? Uh, yeah. It was, it was freezing. Hey, they can, uh, they can get insurance money and finally fix the school. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no fixing <laughs> that. It's kind of too that. far gone. Um, But I would say that means no school, but I, I keep forgetting that I'm graduated. <laughs> <laughs> that When he said that, though, that it was fucking 10 feet, that's crazy. Yeah. Cause I remember it always be like. Well, that, that was just one. Two. That was just like the highest point in one like part of it. The rest was like up to my knees and like a little like, like a, when you, another portion was up to like my ankles. Like when you go bad. down the ramp, it, it was only like two feet. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Well, like, it was only bad, like two feet. It was bad, but it was. But if you <laughs> think only about like it, two feet. That's over your knees. If you think about it, that's over the whole like the cafeteria in the gyms. That's no, it wasn't. It wasn't. In, it stopped like right at the cafeteria because there's like a little thing. Bro, there. Oh like, yeah, it goes it up went a little into bit the gym. Under the, uh, oh my god! It went into the, got, both the of the locker rooms. Dude, they're, they're gonna smell so bad. Oh, <laughs> they do. It probably fucked up with the sewage <laughs> and all that. Oh. oh, the toilets were probably underwater, eh? Oh no, you said <laughs> no. It, got, it, it didn't get yeah, that bad ramp, in there. Uh, Ramp up. That's crazy. Well, that's too bad. Maybe they would have finally gotten uh, cleaned. Uh, yeah, no we had, uh, what's their names? ATI, I think their names are. I don't, I don't know. YouTube, I, I don't know what their names are. There's fucking cleaner guys come in and took it over. So well, I got to go home. Speaking of coronavirus, uh, Grant came on the podcast. Right what you, speaking he, of coronavirus, we were well, talking about floods. We, wait, no, we talked about <laughs> corona, didn't we? And then we went to the like floods. The very first part of the party. Next. Next. <laughs> trying to try, trying to fucking move on. But uh, we had Grant on the podcast. He he wasn't graduated and was talking about uh, how he, how Corona was affected him. Now that you've graduated, how do you feel about Corona before or after? How does it feel to not be able to have a graduation? Or are you guys having a graduation? Uh, we already had one. Um, it was Friday. And it was... It was like a regular graduation, except 10 of us went in in a line around and, uh, you know, like six feet apart, you grab your diploma, you walk around, get your picture taken, and then you're out. And uh, you didn't have to wear your mask or anything. So, I mean, didn't like, you know, you get the, the pictures, you, get, you didn't have to hear the band, you get your pictures, <laughs> you, you won't even know that nobody's there. You know what I mean? The thing I thought was weird was... You guys would do all that six feet apart, and then everybody would be, like, right next to each other for a picture. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Well, and you guys nobody was stopping fu- everybody either. You guys kind of said fuck that and just took pictures right next to each other. Kind of. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but, like, after, like, everybody was just kind of, like, whatever, like, we're, we're not staying six feet apart. Like, <laughs> like at the football field, we did the uh, the lights thing. Where they're on for 20 minutes at 8.20. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, everybody was out there. It was after the parade. The parade was actually pretty cool. Like, we went all around town, and it was it was all right. I heard you guys fucking honk loud as hell. Dude, that was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Everybody over at the high school did that. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, like, right at 8.20, like, you honk your horn yeah. or whatever. Dude, that was loud. Is that what the thing on the like the projection bo- the projection board in the high school is like where they like show the messages and shit is that what those names are are those like names of graduates yeah because i was like are, who the hell is my this guy yeah. <laughs> i was driving oh, from work and i just see some random ass names and i was like the fuck so every year a class gets to donate something did you guys donate anything 
I'm not that far into it, if I'm being honest with you. I don't know if you guys donate. But I mean, we it have at, like, like the end of the year. We have like a a lot of money since we didn't get a senior trip or <laughs> prom. prom. So True. maybe, Next maybe year is we'll buy be you guys. <laughs> maybe we'll buy you guys new new desks. <laughs> Y'all got a lot of money, so they just probably said thank you. I mean, we've got the full, you know. The full I mean, well, technically they don't even have the money, right? <laughs> but yeah. We donated, I think, a bench. So yeah, I think it's the bench and the uh, the science wing. Oh no, that's mm-hmm. that's the one that me, Seth, and Brady and Trudeau oh, built really? the center. Yeah, we built that's that. That's why I think. But so I think freaky. that that's the only thing we left behind. Really, so, good old bench. Yeah, but everybody would sit on that bench, like all the all the hot Cheeto girls and stuff. <laughs> in the mornings. No, 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 no! Not hot Cheetos, hot chips. Hot shit, girls. Hot cheers. Hot cheers. Man, I, man I, worked the, I worked the lunch line. The first time I heard, let me get some uh, hot cheers. I was like, some, some what? There's you know, like, like three maybe. different kinds of hot cheers. You know, the Cheeto does on your hot chips. I'm like, I'm like, you want um, hot Cheetos, hot Funyuns? <laughs> hot like, munchies. Hot like, ruffles. Like, takis. <laughs> like, I don't know. What were your guys' go-to from the alley cart? Um, the spicy popcorn chicken. For a minute, some, I didn't uh, like the popcorn ruffles. chicken. For a minute, the popcorn really? chicken was kind of ass. Kind of, it's kind of rubbery. Yeah, but. Yeah. Well, it's school chicken. I mean, like overcooked. Yeah. Chicken, well, no, that's not I school mean, chicken. Like... That's a uh, GFS chicken. <laughs> it, it really wasn't that bad though. Like I would eat it at home. I only ate but, the spicy uh, one though. The new one just tastes weird. My freshman year, they had uh, chicken tenders, and those were really good. Oh, yeah, just, yeah. The, spicy chicken just the chicken no, nuggets the, was kind of decent. The, the chicken nugget bowl, that shit is slapped. I just, yeah. I'm not a fan of mixing my food. Like, on my plate, I have my my vegetables, like the main meal, and then my potatoes or whatever. Like, they don't touch. Like You don't I mix, get... like, corn and uh, no. potatoes? No, no. What about what about uh like a steak and potato or anything like that? Yeah. Well. Well. Okay. So here's my 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 favorite. We do uh shake and bake pork chops. Okay. And you know you cut up your pork chop. You got your mashed potatoes yeah. with a pool of mushroom gravy. Okay. okay. Like you take the Campbell's mushroom soup, and then you dip your uh your pork chop in there, and that's a bite. That's I don't know why. Like it's not. That's a bite. It's nothing like crazy. Like that. That's just like my favorite meal that we have. I'm like that to an extent, but like, yeah, like I don't know how somebody eats rice, corn, and mashed potatoes and like the same thing. Like I don't mix my cereal. Wait, no, I'm just <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> you right, Cole? You don't drink the milk. My go-to. Though, I don't at school, drink the milk. Fuck that. My go-to at school is probably. It was definitely the Pizza Bosco Sticks junior and senior year. That shit did slap. Those I, things I only like cheese. the pepperoni ones, though. That's the pizza. There really only was oh, pepperoni pizza, ones. Yeah. No, there was, um, uh, no, it was just regular cheese ones. The regular ones, too, but I said pizza. Oh. Oh, boy. So get, <laughs> get on it. Hey. All right. Um, I don't know why people just like fucking cheese sticks. That's... <clears throat> they're they're I good, just don't though. Get, I just don't get how you eat that as a meal. It's got a. Yeah. <laughs> There's no well, meat. then, like, okay, so freshman, sophomore year, the go to chips for me were the uh, the kettle chips, the salt and vinegar. Those things smacked so hard. Uh, oh, what about the brownies they make? Oh, yeah, that shit was fire. Those the M&M ones are nuts, dude. I never had brownies. Are you serious? I never ate brownies. They're the softest, spongiest brownies you will ever have. Um, I, but I, I don't freshman sophomore year, I would go with like the the popcorn chicken, uh, occasional chicken sandwich. I still did that up until I graduated. Um, but that's probably about it. Like, I always chose the the sour cream and cheddar ruffles. Those were probably the best chips too. Those, I, those I are think some I basic those though. Too much. I like yeah, the spicy ones. Good. I would I would rock with Funyuns as well. Munchies when they had them. Oh, dude. Dude, speaking the, uh, of munchies, bro. One time when I was high as fuck at school, I I got school. like four uh things of cheese and I got four things of the uh 
cheesy uh, ruffles, and I like mix them together, and I got hot cheeto or the hot chicken, and I put that in there, <laughs> and I had like a walking taco of like chicken and ruffles. You bro. definitely had, had the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I spent at least like twenty five dollars that day. Dude, <laughs> I'd go with the Funyuns, salt and vinegar, munchies occasionally, but the Fritos, honey barbecue twists. True. I ate those True. for at least for- two years straight I almost every day. I forgot. Do you ever put this. barbecue sauce on those, bro? Nah. That smacked. That smacked. You ever um, finish with your cheese? Like, you, you don't got no more dip in your cheese, and then you start dipping your chips in there, no matter what chips they are? Yeah. That's I don't like, know how people eat. <laughs> that's like a thing you do. That's I don't get how like people a, eat flaming Hot with cheese. What's the point of that? I just think it's like a, a hot... Because everybody did thing, it. Like... Everybody did it. Yeah, a lot of people did do that. It kind I've been hopped on the trend for a little bit. Kind of died down the spice, I think, but left the flavor. But that was the shittiest cheese. Yeah, the cheese shit wasn't terrible. watered down. What about, what about the thin layer of unmelted cheese on top? You'd get it, and then it's about <laughs> yes. 50 degrees. Oh that my. was like, like, you can't return it. You can't buy a cup of cheese and then go back up there and be like well it was only like 50 cents to start 25, with so, yeah. man. 25 and then you know if you didn't want it but like it's just nasty dude yeah. I, see I, I was got like ranch or something because that stuff was free ranch was ranch was good you can't afford worst, 25 uh, cents Colton <laughs> I'm not wasting on that and bullshit 25 <laughs> I'm like it a adds Jew up. dude I'm not <laughs> I'm like a Jew, dude. I'm not wasting it on fucking cheese. You buy cheese every day a week. That's a dollar twenty-five down the drain. Yep, dollar twenty-five. <laughs> you could be spending on uh, other McChickens. things. McChickens, like a McChicken. Yeah. <laughs> I always liked how people they would get the popcorn chicken and they need sauce. They would get ketchup. They'd have like seven, eight packets of ketchup and they just rip squirt. I was that kid with the chicken yeah. sandwiches for a while. Yeah, Eric Krause. I remember Dude. Eric Krause used to do that. <laughs> Eric, take out a popcorn chicken. A little squirt. A little squirt. I think he liked the ketchup more than the chicken. Dude, he, he did put a fucking gallon of ketchup on a fucking little chicken. He likes ketchup. Big ketchup guy. Big ketchup guy. So, you wanted to talk about the... Uh, Top three games. You wanted to go on that. You, yep. Do you have a top three games? Because we already. I think we did this with Joe Rowe. How about how about we do game franchises? Okay. Like hmm. my my number one is gonna have to be Pokemon. You guys know that. <laughs> number two, probably Smash Brothers. Um, number three, franchises. I mean. Games that I've played a lot, I'd have to go with either Mario or Call of Duty. But number one's Pokemon. Isn't Smash Bros. the same franchise as Mario? Or, or are they like no. just different? It's like, um, it's well, like what, a do you, what do you consider as a franchise? Do you consider it as like the company that makes them? Or do you just like, like the... Um, like a like a trilogy, like, like a series yeah, of like games. a trilogy, I guess. Like a series, yeah. No. Like a series of games, yeah. Well, they're their own. Like, Smash Brothers has like all of Nintendo's characters. They even got Sonic, Mega Man, Cloud, all those guys on there now. I'd say Black Ops is on mine. GTA definitely is on mine. GTA's up there. GTA. Probably Pokemon. Everybody also. grew up on GTA. Probably Pokemon's Everybody probably on... my number one. Then GTA, yeah. then uh, the Black Ops franchise. Everybody grew up on Pokemon and GTA, and I know that's a fact. That is. Everybody's first violent game, if it wasn't Call of Duty, was GTA. Because everybody had a Mine wasn't. older sibling or cousin or something. It's either Call of Duty or GTA. That's the and bottom line. I think my first shooter, actually, 007 Nightfire for the PlayStation oh, 2. Oh Jesus Christ. Mine was something on the PlayStation 2. I'd have to go look through the games. But yeah. Probably like anyway. Ghost Recon. That was pretty good. Or Splinter Cell, yeah. Yeah, it's Splinter Cell. Oh, no, mine was probably uh, Slenderman. I had Slenderman on my PS, like, 2 or 3. Well, that's not really, a, not shooter. really a shooter, though. But it's, like, it's a horror game. The that's horror, sure. sort of, yeah. Dude, I used to be so scared of that stuff. Like, I literally, like, 
lay in my bed and look at my door, like petrified. I'd always look oh, out the window. Know. It'd be just like a stick, like a. Do you guys see the new like version just... of Slenderman that's out? The Siren Man, Siren Head shit. I you haven't seen that yet. In a long time. Bro, that shit is creepy seen. as fuck. Me and uh, Siren. Me and Derek played yeah. through uh. Me and Derek played through uh, Outlast at my house. Dude, that's a this hell man, of a game. This man was freaking out at like I made every Joe 30 seconds. I for like the half, half of the game. <laughs> He'd pause the game and be like, all right, your turn. <laughs> Literally, like every scary part. Because like, you know how you get like, you get the adrenaline running and then you like start just clicking stuff. Like that's at least for me in horror games. Like if I've got somebody on my tail. I start to flip out, dude. Like, <laughs> I can't do this. I just don't he like the pop ups. Uh, yeah, jump scares. Pop-ups suck. Yeah. He did make it further than Grant. I think Grant got about like three minutes into the game, he and he's he's like, "I'm not playing this game, dude. I hate this stuff. I'm not playing this game." He just turned the <laughs> Xbox off. I don't get enough. Sounds like no. Grant that's thing. what I was like with the game. Uh, the game we started playing after. The Resident Evil? No, not not the Resident Evil. Wait, no, it was Outlast that I was scared as hell, and we yeah. didn't finish it, but we played through Resident Evil Bioshock. We, we played through Bioshock. That one was really good. Yeah, that one was actually that was, a good That game. was really good. It's scary. Um, but Outlast is a whole different kind of scary. If you guys play through that... I want to play... Is there any scary games that are multiplayer, though? There's um, a few, yeah. Cause that's what me and Colton and Don were trying to do that a long time ago, but we couldn't. A lot of them it. are PC only though, like they're not cross plot Is there any uh, like a lot of them are... PS4 only ones? Or Xbox, are... I don't know. PS4 console only. They're, they're mostly single player, just because it's like scarier if you're. Alone. I don't like horror games just because of the puzzles. I fucking hate the puzzles in them. They're they're stupid. Like they're not even hard or oh. anything. I mean, like. How else are you supposed to make a horror game, though? Well, you can add, like, dialogue to it. You don't have to have fucking puzzles. I just wish there was multiplayer ones, because it would... Yeah. Yeah. It kind of gets boring after a while if you're just by yourself. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you're with a friend, they have to go first, then you go first. They can scare you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, isn't the Friday the 13th game kind of like that? Oh I man, I, I I've never played. It, I've never played I'm, one. So. I'm assuming that's what it's like, like the one with Jason. Yeah, yeah I, I love all those games with proximity chat. It's so fucking fun. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one game PC, that I though. really want to play is VR chat. What is VR chat? Yeah, it's like you. It's literally anything you want. I'll send it's you people, some videos um, after, like. It's Literally, pretty funny. Uh, yeah, like people play like Yu-Gi-Oh in it, and like that's where like the um, Kermit the Frog or uh, no, what is it? Uh, do you no, know the no, way? don't touch me there. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. VR chat. Do Do you know the way with uh, Sonic? And oh, Knuckles? that okay. That's VR yeah. chat. All right. Yeah, I'd want to play that too. That looks dope. <laughs> that looks dope. Um, what else? You guys see Joe Rogan left YouTube? He left Did YouTube. he really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't even watch it. I just saw like. I don't know. What was it? A podcast kind of he uploaded or what? Hold on. I actually just saw from the uh, the scarce upload. Scarce. That Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan leaves YouTube. Well, that could mean anything then. If it's like yeah. just the title, it could be right. like bait. Hmm. Uh, wait, d- Joe, did you pick a three, your three franchises? Well, is it like... Oh. It's just like, a, gonna, it's like, yeah, it's like a series of them, so like... Okay, so the series. Yeah. All right, he didn't well. leave YouTube, he left Apple Podcasts to become a Spotify exclusive. What the heck? Yeah. So wait, he did that, leave YouTube, wouldn't that if mean he's he a Spotify exclusive. Yeah. Well, Spotify's starting to have, they're trying to work on having video podcasts. <laughs> That would be nice. But all right, what, what were your uh, what were your three? Um, I don't even know. 
I, I really don't know. If it was top three franchises, it'd be um, Nintendo, Naughty Dog, and... Naughty Dog's a good one. Valve, probably. Who's that? Valve, let's say let's say game series portal, portal my and, uh, uh franchises would <clears throat> number one because i grew up on that shit um, we lost you there real quick yeah who was it oh was your mine one? would be uh assassin's creed at number one then red dead and then kingdom hearts probably kind of dookie picks not gonna lie you just don't know gaming um, I guess like I don't know. I think Halo's really good. Halo is really good. See, I would up, pick up Halo, until, but um, the like the previous ones have been kind of ass. Yeah, the new the new ones up until like Halo Bro, three. But the one really Infinite good. looks good as fuck. But I mean, then again, like at some point you kind of run out of stuff. Look at Pokemon. Look at the new generation of Pokemon. Like it's it's yeah. mediocre at best. <laughs> Call of Duty. This is the first okay Call of Duty in how many years? Well, they they switch developers so much. Yeah, like right. people walk in and out doors for who makes them. I wish then, Fallout uh, when what was Fallout's it seventy four? I wish that one wasn't a fucking bus. That was I was hyped actually for that. Yeah, Fallout. That uh, what's the one on the uh, Xbox? That was a good one. Lost New Vegas, I think. Yeah, that's really good. I'm really hoping GTA 6 isn't a bust. If that's a bust, oh, I don't know what I'm going to play. It I trust be. Rockstar. Make a game. But I wonder what the map's going to be, too. They, I, I heard it was on Chicago. That would be sick. I heard Chicago. I've heard the whole U.S. The whole U.S.? I mean, they probably could. They could do that. <laughs> They'd have to shrink it down at least a little bit. Because imagine no. driving from New York to California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to travel uh, the whole U.S., it's going to take a little bit at least. Well, there's it probably... Might be, it might be the whole U.S. for the story mode, but yeah. it definitely won't be on the multiplayer. That I, would be a million gigabyte map. I hope that what they have on PC is that PC mod where you can like play as like roleplay with... As like a cop or whatever. I hope they add that <laughs> into the... Too. I hope they add that into GTA. That'd be dope. Yeah, with proximity chat? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah, what it uh, is. Yeah, but like you can actually like play as a cop though. Oh, okay. And then yeah, well, that's you... kind of yeah. I feel like that should be a whole different game though, because GTA, what do you do? But yeah, you get like, rid of the yeah, cops. There's the like... story mode, then there's the online play, and then there's that. You know what they should do? They should make GP- GTA since it's an RPG. They should make it to where you can choose to be a cop or like a, a gangster. Yeah, that I would guess. be sick. But, yeah. yeah, if you played in online against people, that'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, what else were we going to talk about? Food. Oh, yeah. We've asked everybody, we asked everybody on the podcast always, what's your top three candy bars? Candy bars? Or, and, and then after this, we'll ask you what your top three restaurants are. Or, Dude. Or I can give you a list of fast food restaurants. And then we have to have um, a take on something else. Okay. Um, candy bars, I'm probably going to have to go with Twix at number one. Dang, yep. Big Tix guy. Pick. Um, same, same. Number two, Snickers and Three Musketeers are tied. I don't know why sometimes the Three Musketeers hits. Is it soft or is it hard? It's soft. <sighs> it's like the bottom of a Snickers bar, but the whole thing. No, I know what it is. I just like... I don't know about soft. Ooh, I'll put Kit Kat. Cold, Kit Kat and Twix like are tied hard. for number one. Uh, Kit, Kit Kat and Twix Wait, no, this isn't one. the list that we did. The list that we did was if you had three uh, candy bars to keep with you on, like, a deserted island, and you couldn't have any other candy bar. Okay. Love. Okay. That's the list that we did. And I picked something similar to that, and then they roasted mm. me, and then Cole picked something, like, what did you pick? You pick some dumbass, like, random <laughs> ass candy Cole's bar. number one's a Hershey's bar. I know that. No, it's not. Are you serious? It was either a Twix or a Okay, Hershey bar- Hershey's are, are not Hershey's. Are Reese's a candy bar? Oh, are I they, picked a good bar. Or are they a bar. candy? Or are they I, a cup? Say, I say, well, wh- where do you find the Reese's? In a wrapper? In the store. In the store. 
Okay. With with the rest <laughs> of the candy. It's, yeah, it's a but candy. There's other candies that aren't candy bar, and to me, Reese's are not candy bar. Yeah, They're a cup. And there's also but, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Cup. There's like different. There's even Reese's. I only that are categorize actual. it. You never hear Reese's because, peanut butter bar. <laughs> I only categorize it with uh, candy because of where you find it. Well, no, I think it's candy. I just don't think it's a well, candy bar. Yeah, but like I'm saying, it's a candy bar. Just like in that category, like it's obviously not a candy bar. Yeah. But it's it's like if you go to get a Hershey's and you see a Reese's and you get both. What's the difference if you call one candy and one a candy bar? Yeah, I guess. So, after that, so now what is your... Hold up, I didn't finish. Okay. Since Colton, <laughs> well, Colton told me that I can't have it all mixed up like that. Well, yeah, because that's the list that we actually did, like, for, um, I think it was Ben. Okay. We did, like, your top three, that if you were on a deserted island and you can only choose three candy bars for the rest of your life, what would, like, your... Three I'm going to go... But how does that work? Is there like a? Are you, you like near have... near Mexico? No, like, like you have a problem. Like, you're just on a deserted island, yeah, Joe. A, I don't, I don't, a, I don't, I don't know, I don't know where it's at, man. It could be in the Bahamas. You, you, have, no, you have, have a hologram that pops up, and you have to choose three out of all the candy bars, and that's. Well, why wait, isn't there like isn't there like a help option, like a rescue me now? Like you got internet shit out there. If they've got holograms, who's getting caught on deserted islands? Yeah. I don't know. Um, number one, I'm going Twix. Number two, Kit Kat. Number three, mix it up, and I'm gonna throw little Airheads at you. Ooh. Mm. That's but, a good one. I, good. I consider Airheads candy bars. Yeah, that's a that's a bar. But that's why a, a Kit Kat? It's Dude, just Kit chocolate Kat's and smack. cracker. It's chocolate. Have you ever froze? Have you ever froze a Kit Kat? Yeah, I, Kit Kats are Kit Kats like are Twix, good. but They're like if it. Top Kit Kats team. are like Twix, but if the Twix had just been like strangled a few times, yeah. then that's that's a Kit Kat. <laughs> a Kit Kat is know. a Twix without the fucking caramel. Kit Kats just hit. They, well, a, a, a Twix has a cookie and a Kit Kat's a wafer. They're right. the same thing. No, they're completely different. No, no. They wafers are like the autistic cousin of cookies. And around old Mexico. All I have to say is a Kit Kat is too plain. It's too plain. There's nothing to it. It's just chocolate and cookie. But it's good. Like, what's wrong with the... If somebody offers you a Hershey's bar, you're not going to take it. Like, it's just chocolate, but chocolate's good. But yeah, these are the three that you can keep. You can only have for the rest of your life. Yeah. I'm going to go with Airheads. You mix it up. Get a little flavor. Twix. You get... Just Twix is a perfect candy bar. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, nothing wrong with Twix. You can't go wrong with the Twix. And Kit Kat, I don't know. Kit Kat's just... I just like them. I don't have nothing else to say. All right. All right. Joe? What about you, guy? Oh, me? Yeah. Man, I, don't, I don't really eat candy. That's All right. I know you're so, lying. uh, next like, topic. I don't eat, like, candy. All right. Shame. So then, um... We we did one where we had you had to choose your top. There was like seven restaurants. It's fast food restaurants. You have to choose your top three and the least three out of them. Or you can, if you want to do that, or you can just choose any fast food top three. Or all right, my top three. Number one is Taco Bell. Good That's choice. what Dom said too. Good choice. Cole, <laughs> didn't Dom say that too? <laughs> that yes, Taco Bell and that is number. so dumb. <laughs> And number two, oh my God. I'm saying just for the quality of food, I'm going to put Chick-fil-A because it's actual, it's real meat. You can't go wrong with it. And the fries there, the sauce, the what sauce about, too. What about Portillo's though? Cake shake mm-hmm. and a hot dog? See, like, like Portillo's, it's obviously fire, but the variety. Okay, guys, yeah. I'm going to pause you right there because uh, you, you paused. I got to take a fat leak. I can't hold Me it anymore. Me too. I was holding it so long. Right. Body break, boys. Body break? Body break. <laughs> oh, my God.
<laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna edit that in. That's going to Do in. not. I'm just gonna be like, uh, you're gonna be like, Colton's gonna be like, hold up, we gotta wait. I, I gotta take a leak. <laughs> yeah. Me too. And then I'm gonna show everybody getting up. I knew it. Fuck you, Joe. Fuck you. I knew he would send a. F oh my god. Sent the video of me taking a leak. I know. It sent the same fucking thing to me. Fuck. I knew you'd do that shit. Thirty five minutes in. The fits too, eh? Yeah, it was getting a little chilly in my room. Alright. Uh where were we? Talking about Uh he was talking about Chick fil A sauce. Yeah, right. Chick fil A. Alright, so everybody had a fucking bathroom break, so we're back. <laughs> so now that our bladders are back in check, um Alright, so Chick fil A's my number two. Wait, what was Let me let one? me hear the list. My number one's Taco Bell. It's just fucking they stupid. have a lot of variety, it's cheap, and it's good. I think Col I in Colton, I think you guys are cheap and out. Like, I know, I, I like Taco Bell. I just want to put it in my top three, maybe top five, but not top three. Okay. I, I I choose Taco John's over Taco Bell. But no, Taco uh, John's is expensive. Yeah, without without potato O'Lays. I'm just talking but about it's the, the same, meat. The meat. It's is this. Oh my god. It's literally nah. the same exact thing. Taco Bell is has dry meat compared to Taco John's. I say. What? Yep. Maybe because all the workers spit when you in talk. it. It doesn't That's... even matter. They're both Dude, made it's out probably, of It's probably wetter because plastic. It's all the work. Bottom of the barrel food because. Joe Exotic meat is what they're made out of. <laughs> that expires so Walmart mince meat. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you got Taco Bell, um, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Can I hear the list for my third? Because I don't want to. I don't want to do, go on a limb and pick some. You, you can know. Do Arby's, McDonald's. Yeah. That's what I was uh, thinking. Wendy's. You would have Arby's in your top three. I'm gonna go Arby's. That roast beef and cheddar. Oh, <laughs> And the variety, it's quality there too. You, you know better think, fucking you know love think your about toilet, Arby's. dude. You know what but I think like, about Arby's? okay, okay, wait a minute. So, it's not necessarily my top three. I have many more that could compete with it. Just on that list. But off the top of my head, I'm gonna have to go with Arby's because it's quality. Quality shit. Tweaking. Even Here's Wendy's is not on there. It's not, no Wendy's. I feel like all Wendy's really has. Spicy chicken nuggets and the bacon burger. The baconator, the fucking frosties. It's, dude, they're not the fries. Fries. Mac, fries. McDonald's has the best fries, I'm sorry. True. Dude, you can even air fry their fries and they taste the same. McDonald's has the best fries, boys. I'm trying to think where else. Culver's. Uh, Culver's flaps. Culver's is like, eh... Cheese whoa, curds. Whoa, 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 You're going to say and the Culver's, but you're going to have Taco Bell on there as Dude, your number one? You just don't understand. I, no, I like Taco Bell, but it's not better than Culver's. I'm sorry. It's not. N not necessarily quality-wise, but if I have to pick, I'm going to Taco Bell. Oh, Taco Bell Baja Blast? What, is, what does Culver's have? Pepsi? Mountain Dew? Dude, their shakes smack. What are you That's talking true. about? That's true. You can't drink a shake with a meal, though. Yeah, you like, can. You need a Go to steak and shake, which would also be in my top three. Are you serious? Wait, are yeah. you serious? Cold no, dude. Uh, I don't know about that one. Buddy. The only I, thing that's bad about Chick Fil A is their drive thru If you're like their drive thru have you ever been in there? I said that's bad. That's the only bad thing because it takes <laughs> like four hours. Have you ever been inside? 